Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 300, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, absolutely love Spider-Man. But yeah, there's no information on this on Wikipedia. But I do remember the absolutely huge Spider-Man uh, picture down the right-hand side of the screen. Those pictures there are absolute guff. Uh, down the right-hand side of the screen that represent your health. And also, I imagine, make it a massive bezel so obviously it keeps the frame rate up with it. I don't know why there would even be problems with the frame rate on this because... I've played it very quickly, but even back in the day when I looked at it in magazines, I could see that your character was tiny. Those pictures are rubbish. So I'm guessing MJ um, still haven't forgiven um, Marvel for, you know, breaking up Peter and MJ, because the only superhero, you know, relationship, married, you know, wife that anyone actually gave a shit about, because it worked. Um, yeah, so what was that, brand new day? Because, yeah, his auntie died, probably for like the second time, his aunt May. And so he wanted her to go back, and Mephisto said, he would do the deal because he'd revealed his sorry spoilers secret identity in civil war he said he would do the deal uh, not for his soul for anything like that but because um pretty much uh mj and peter is the only marriage on earth or something stupid i can't remember it's 2006 that was perfect and so if he split them up and it never happened it would piss off god yeah pretty much that's it so now yeah they, they completely undid that that really pissed me off um but hey you know it's marvel it's a lot fucking worse now now it's all woke and shit anyway so uh i'm guessing that mj's been kidnapped by mysterio who's the shittest villain ever and we have to rescue her by solving puzzles yes not what you would think hey right so i played one screen of it and it's a tad frustrating. But I have to play this because it's a Spider-Man game. So uh, apologies for the, the background noise you hear in-game because there is no in-game music. So right, uh, English. Right, I know copyright and shit like that, but uh, I think they really... Oh, it's called The Amazing Spider-Man. They really missed the trick not doing some sort of remix or kind of loose reworking so they didn't get done for copyright of the 60s Spider-Man theme tune. There I am. Look how small I am. Right, so you got jump, and then you hold down fire, and you fire your web, and you can fire it up, and you can fire at opponents, and I'm bigger than the helicopter. To the, top, to the right, then, that huge bezel, that picture of me, which does look like 60 Spider-Man, which is cool, um, is my health. He turns into a skeleton. Jump onto the helicopter, and it magically goes to the roof without turning me into mints. Walk into a wall, and you stick to it. That's kind of cool. Jump. He's not the all-round acrobat he was from the uh, cartoon, comics, movies, if you will. So what's this, like 1988 or something? Alright, that's very interesting. Didn't know that was a thing. Does this, is this going to kill me now? No! I landed on my bonce and I'm still alive. The animation's pretty good, actually. So there's a bunch of stuff going down on down there, including a blatant rip-off of R2-D2. So if you fall onto a surface... 
you do stick to it and you can move from surface to surface. The controls are reasonably tight, so if I stand up and then I hold far, press up, and then I can go up. Because, you know, web and stuff. Blatantly R2-D2. Now, I only know what to do because... Oh, hello. I had a very, very quick go. I'll tell you what, right? He does feel kind of spidey-ish. Oh, yeah, look. You can do this. Stand up. And now he's frozen. Can't punch him, even though I've got the proportionate strength of a spider. Fuck off. I can't punch him. I meant fuck off to falling, not the proportionate strength of a spider. How? That's weird. Right. How do I get in there then? Oh, look, look. Yeah, you can... Oh, nothing happened. I had to press fire. And I clunked to the wall. Look, look, on the chair. All right, that's kind of cool. Um, I've made this full screen because the character is so small. So there's a little bit of information cropped from the top and the bottom. Apologies for that. When it does this full screen thing on the A500 Mini, for that is which I'm playing it on, yeah, I can. that's why I kind of prefer playing it, you know. Um, oh, look, I just realised it tells me where I am because, you know, games and stuff. Um, yeah, that's why I prefer playing it, you know, small. Right, so anyway, look, that. Did you see the door? On the left, go. That was quick, wasn't it? Oh, I can web it! That's new, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, conveyor belt, because, obviously, I'm assuming, yeah, because R2-D2's round char. Right, uh, so, right, do you see that? That opened uh, directly beneath me where those steps are, where I fell into the building at the start of the place. That opened that area. Uh, thank fuck you haven't got time. I remember Spider-Man being a lot quicker than this. <laughs> Straight onto his head. It's a bit weird though on how you climb over what in stuff. I don't know. Look at the animation of that guy. So, I mean, these are like automatons and shit like that. Apparently I can't walk on the green shits. Just like real life. Remember that, kids? You can't walk on the green shit. No ball games and stuff like that. Right. I don't... I don't know what that did. So, I thought the door beneath me would be open, but I've hit that switch, and that switch had to have done something. Now we have to work out what that switch has done. I warrant... Oh, that was lucky. No, no, bottom right. You see that? Oh, no. Run. I do like his affirmative take command stance. What was that? Laugh. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. People like this shit. You've made a puzzle game, essentially. Okay, so I can't shoot that. Right. Alright. Stand up. Everything's on a time limit, I assume, with doors. I cannot believe... It's got a blatant R2-D2. Oh. Hello. Oh, look! Right, well, I'm immediately out of bloody ideas. Because the lifts are down. So presumably this switch over here is going to do something. And is that switch above me that's green? We'll find out. No. <laughs> Wait. Then, how am I supposed to do anything? Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, they weren't lifts. I was the lift. That's obviously electrified water, which makes me incredibly nervous, because these controls... Oof, are a bit, kind of... They do whatever the fuck they want to do. I don't know where my heart beat and whatever that blue shit is. 
Oh, I just got the reason it's a, you know, um, it's a clipboard or whatever it is, you know. Because, scene marker, um, Mysterio. Got ya! Oh, hello. Very fiddly. It's very fiddly. And, you know, the animations are right and shit like that. But, it's not like the best graphics, is it? I don't know, maybe it's a cold classic. Maybe I should get a white stick. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Right. You can only climb up one side, apparently. We're going over here. Stand up. But it's walls. Oh, look, see? This is fucking stupid. Is that a switch? Yes. But it didn't look like a switch. What does that one do, then? Oh, shut the floor. Which means the mummy comes along. Oh, that pesky Mysterio and his switches. Can't go anywhere over there. Oh, these controls are slug as a shit. Look at the size of that grave. I want to see the size of the fucking zombie that comes out of that. Oh. Can't go up, up there. I mean, I, go down the fucking hole, yeah. It takes a lot of getting used to these controls. I'm not going to lie. It's a very interesting game. They've tried something different. I'll give them that. Especially with the controls, which take a hell of a lot of getting used to. There's a pinch of Jet Set Willy about it. Do I want to... Hang on. I don't know why I did that. Is this going to do something? Is that even a switch? I don't know. No, but it hurt me. That is the stupidest idea for a health bar ever. Well, possibly not. That's a bit bold, but you know what I mean. I've, again, just taking up the size of the screen, but I can't see that you would need it to make the frame rate of this anything, because look at it. It's not like it's really doing much. Oh, there's a switch in there. Is that what I'm going to do? Just constantly look for switches? Oh, Mysterio, Master of Illusions. No, Master of fucking Switches. Shit. What did that do? Oh, yes. I think. I don't know. Why am I getting so excited? Because switches and shit. It is an in... Wait, what? Wait, it's open. Hang on, do I do... I don't know what I do. Alright, we need that one open, don't we? Stand up. Also... Well, that's fucking pointless. Why? No, we need that one then. No, we don't. I've got no fucking clue what I'm doing. It's not really sort of forthcoming. You know, with how you should proceed no. oh so right I I don't know Spider-Man Spider-Man I don't know there you go that's the new theme song I got it does whatever someone who hasn't got a fucking clue does can you spin a web apparently not so much in this game but I can shoot them right Hang on, no, because there's a fucking... Oh, this is fucking... This is tit-irritating, is what this is. Fucking waste of a licence there, Oxford, whatever your fucking name is. I can web-swing, then. I take it back. Right. But then... Right. 
Right, so that's... I don't know. I don't like you, game. I know that much. Fucking waste of a license. So we're going back up here. Hurry up, Spider-Man. Look, very slowly. Come on. Oh, you fuck. Oh, you, oh, you can do it now, can you? I got, I got nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I've got nothing. Mummy's Revenge. I thought we were fighting Mysterio. Oh, this game is fucking useless. Balls. Spider balls. Get up the fucking wall, you numpty twat. I can't. I'm stuck. Apparently, even though I got the ability to climb walls, it doesn't work there. Even though it looks exactly the same as all the other walls, so it's not like they've greased it up or anything, is it? Does that top one open? I wonder. I say I wonder, I'm rapidly losing interest. Oh, he's a clumsy fuck, isn't he, Spider-Man? Who knew? I didn't. Now I... I don't know. I got no clue. I'm just going back where I've been now. The Amazing Spider-Man on the Amiga. Uh, Atari ST and apparently DOS. Uh, I don't know how this reviewed. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say... Not very well. But yeah, I guess they tried something a bit different. But I'm going to call it... Um, it's shit, basically. <laughs> it's shit. You going to stick this time? Thank you. I got no idea. I've got. I got no idea. Was there something down there? Was there a switch at the top above that blue switch which I can't reach because this fucking wall here? I don't know. The Amazing Spider Man on the Amiga. I've played it, therefore, you don't have to. It's shit. <laughs> Maybe it's amazing and I'm just missing an obvious trick. But, anyway, as always, I'd love to not think, especially if you played this back on the day, I cannot see that the Amiga and Atari ST versions are going to be different in any way whatsoever. Can I get out this way? Because it's hardly a graphical powerhouse in the looks department, is it, this game? So there. There. There, there, there yeah, I don't know, I can't talk. I've got the proportion of speech of a spider. Nothing. So, as always, thank you very... God, you Fucking clumsy fuck. I almost said the C word there. Oh, hang on. No. Back here. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. All right, that was cool. Uh, and I'll see you later. God, we can see what's happened. Oh. Oh, so... So the blue thing that clearly looks electrified re replens my health. Well, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Well, that's just ruddy typical, isn't it? Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.